A lady picked a quarrel with me and her son accused me of being a witch. Later, the people in the village took me to the Gambaga witch camp. They performed rituals which showed I was not a witch, so I came back to the village. The boy came to attack me at home. He was aiming for my neck, but I blocked it with my hand and he chopped it off. He fled. And to date, the police say they can't find him. I was home alone. I was cooking when someone trashed at me. He was aiming for my neck, but I saw it fast enough and instinctively blocked it with my hand. So my hand got chopped off. That is the story of Asibi Dut, a 40-year-old woman who is a resident of Sakogu in the northeast region of Ghana. For the past eight years, she has been living without one hand. Her woes started when a young man accused her of being a witch. Asibi said a lady in her community picked a quarrel with her and subsequently the lady's son accused her of being a witch. Asibi took the accusation lightly but realized the seriousness of the allegation when people in the community sent her to the witch camp in Gambaga to test whether she was a witch or not. The way a chicken died would determine her fate and the entire course of her life. In northern Ghana, when you are accused of witchcraft, you have to bear the full cost of the ritual. So Asibi took care of the full cost and the ritual confirmed that she was not guilty. I was cleared of witchcraft allegations. The fowl said I was not guilty. The chief then asked me to go back to Sakugu and ordered that we use dialogue to settle our differences. Asibi, who was eight months pregnant, said she thought she was free, but a young man had other plans. I was home alone. I was cooking when someone charged at me. He was aiming for my neck. He tried to cut it off with a machete, but I saw it fast enough and instinctively blocked it with my hand. So my hand got chopped off. He then fled. Today, it's the police say, they can't find him. Asibi was left broken. As soon as we say you are a witch, even small children can beat you. They can do anything to you, nobody cares. She had now mastered ways of living independently and taking care of her son. Her husband also traveled to southern Ghana and never gets in touch with her. She feels pains when the remaining hand is not covered. She cooks and does many other chores with one hand. She feels the young man who chopped off her hand had stolen her joy in life. I am really pained. I am hurt. Now I can't do anything. And the boy who did this to me is free. Asibi is yearning for two things, money to start her own business and also for the police to track down the perpetrator who is still on the run.